Welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be continuing with the systems design series and we're going to be talking about horizontal scaling. Let's get into it. What is scaling? Let's do a little bit of a review. Scaling a system is the process of updating and upgrading an existing system in such a way that it is able to handle higher user traffic, grow in a linear fashion with the number of resources added, and be able to handle outages without the entire system crumbling. So let's talk about vertical scaling and why it doesn't work. Vertical scaling is the process of increasing the size and power of existing machines in the system. This includes things like buying a stronger CPU, buying more RAM, or increasing the hard drive or SSD memory of the system. So you can think about it as increasing a single machine by adding stronger components to it. So one of the issues with vertical scaling is the cost. Eventually, you're just going to run into a wall where buying even more powerful hardware is just too expensive. Another issue is that you're going to hit an upgradability ceiling. A motherboard can only fit so much RAM. SSDs are only sold with so many terabytes of memory on them. And eventually, you'll just buy the most powerful CPU on the market. What do you do then? Another issue with vertical scaling is that you have a single point of failure. Having a really powerful machine is great. You can handle a lot of requests with it, but what happens when that machine starts acting up and you need to take it offline? There goes your entire system. Or you need to change a faulty RAM stick. Mm, you just lost the system again. So as you can see, you have a single point of failure here, which means that your one machine going down will bring your entire system down and you can't serve any requests. That's no good. So how do we solve this? But we still want to scale up our system, so we need some other way, right? And that's where horizontal scaling comes in. The basics of horizontal scaling are this. Instead of investing in one very powerful machine to handle all of our requests for us, let's have multiple weaker machines working in a network and therefore we can spread the load out over all of them. But remember, nothing is free in systems design. What are some of the pros and cons here? Pro number one. We're able to remove those single points of failure. When we move away from a single machine, we also eliminate single points of failure from our system. This means that our one server going down can no longer bring down the entire system. Having multiple machines which can handle requests means if something goes wrong with one, it can be temporary take, temporarily taken offline and the others in the cluster can handle the request instead. Another pro is that it's cheaper. Like we mentioned before, adding more and more powerful hardware gets expensive very quickly, especially as you approach the high end of the market. Horizontal scaling allows us to unlock the same amount of performance by instead using cheap commodity hardware which is less cost prohibitive and easily purchasable. Another pro is that we're able to remove bottlenecks. Similar to the issue we had with a single point of failure, a single machine also suffers from bottlenecks. This means that all the traffic must flow through that one machine, and thus, if that machine starts responding slowly, then the entire system will be slowed down a result, as a result. If we have multiple machines, we have less of this issue. Another pro is that there's less overall downtime. Like we mentioned before, if you had a single machine and you needed to change the RAM, or the hard drive, or the CPU, you'd have to take the entire system offline while the change was performed. With multiple machines, taking one offline isn't an issue. The load can be spread out between the other machines while the machine needing repair is maintenanced. But, like I said, there's no free lunch when it comes to system design. You do have to pay a price for horizontal scaling. And one of the first prices you're going to pay is increased complexity. When you have just one server or one machine, it's really easy to reason about your system. All requests are going to go through that single machine and it's relatively easy to think about. But when there's multiple machines, you now have to figure out how to properly route requests between multiple servers and keep the request traffic balanced between them as to not overload a single machine. So you're going to need a load balancer here to basically take your incoming requests and delegate them to a uh, server. And you're also going to have to be constantly heartbeating with this 
load balancer so that it knows the current uh, load on a single given machine so it can properly allocate the request to the machine that's actually going to be able to serve it. Another uh, con here is that you now have a DevOps burden. When you have multiple machines, you need to think about how to effectively manage the cluster. What happens when one machine needs to be serviced? How do you drain traffic from that machine and send it to others? How do you add or remove machines to the cluster? Obviously, this introduces a DevOps burden and you're now going to have to deal with managing multiple machines in your system, whereas before you just had one and it was relatively simpler, like we said. But in this trade-off, there's a clear winner and horizontal scaling is definitely the way to go. Uh, it's no surprise that literally every single big tech platform is using it in some way or another to scale their systems. The pros drastically outweigh the cons, though it's still important to know and be aware of the cons. Even though it's basically a no-brainer that you should horizontally scale, it still comes at a cost and interviewers are going to want uh, you to at least br uh, briefly mention this trade-off during the interview. So what does horizontal scaling in the real world look like? And we won't go too much into this because these will be individual videos on their own, but in general, you can think of it as replication and partitioning. Replication, and this is just gonna be a brief intro like I said, is the process of having multiple copies of an instance, microservice, database, etc. The idea behind it is simple. If one fails, another identical and equal instance can handle the load while the failing instance is repaired or replaced entirely. And this usually takes two forms. We could have database replication, where we copy the entire contents of the database to another instance in order to be able to serve more reads. And if one goes down, then we can still perform writes, uh, sorry, reads from the database because we'll have that copy in another place. Another form of replication is instance replication, which means having another machine running the same application code as another in the cluster. And this was you know, what we were talking about earlier with our horizontal replication, sorry, horizontal scaling, where we have multiple machines instead of one beefy one. And we can be running the same code on each of them. That way we can spread the load out easily. We also have partitioning, and the idea behind partitioning is that eventually your database will end up with too much data to fit on one machine. You can't just stop accepting writes, so you need to split this data up somehow. Partitioning allows us to divide up a database into logical groupings such that new writes to the same group go to a certain machine and others from another group will go to their respective database server. This way you can spread out the data and traffic across multiple machines. So. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we'll be doing a deep dive into replication and following up on the discussion we did uh, today. Although it was relatively brief, that's why it's going to have its own dedicated video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. The engagement really helps with the YouTube algorithm and really uh, aids the channel in growing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.